Hello, this is Mitch Wagner from Light Reading. I'm here with Ozgar from Turksa and Amit from Affirmed, and they have a very interesting project that they're going to tell you about. Um, you've uh, actually been virtualizing your network at Turkcell. So tell us about that, if you would, please. OK, so we, as a Turkcell, is one of the digital operating the globe. That is why we have been providing our customer digital services. So that is why the vision behind of the virtualization to be on time to, to provide such kind of digital services. Time to market is very critical. That is why we have decided to virtualize our network in order to ready such kind of uh, rapid craving network and for 5G readiness, of course. Okay, so how, how much of the network have you virtualized at this point? Uh, it's almost 18% of the traffic, both voice and uh, data, has already been migrated to the NFI platform. So, of course, we have a target. So, we see in the future if there is any function could be virtualized on the virtual platform, we're going to do it. And what's your goal in this? It seems very ambitious, I know. The goal is, of course, uh, as I told you, there are several topics behind of them. One of them is uh, CapEx intensity, of course. So, right now, what we have seen in the first day in the MWC that there is an assumption in by 2025 the data growth will be 400 times bigger than what we have right now. And only the 1% of the revenue increase is expected for the operators. That is, this is a dilemma. In order to solve this dilemma, I think virtualization is the way uh, to do it. Okay. So, and um, how much of it were you going to be, be getting done and on what timetable? Uh, there are many, of course. So, and um, you brought in um, Affirmed to do the work for you. Why did you do that? Uh, as I told you, this is, I'm heading the network organization right now. So uh, I'm the core network director. So I have very good network engineers. So we have ICT organization, they have, they have very good IT engineers. But this is a new era which requires competency from ICT and network. So that is why uh, to choose a correct partner is very critical. And we've seen that Affirmative has already done in some uh, geography. That's why we have decided to go with them. And we see that, okay, it was a correct decision for us. Okay, great. So what, did, uh, what, what does Affirmed bring to the table here? Just like Osgood said, you know, if you think of Affirmed Networks, we were founded on the principle of virtualizing and transforming the service provider networks like Turkcell, right? Now, operators like Turkcell who are very progressive, forward thinking, are ideal partners for us to actually align strategically and actually bring this vision to reality. So what Affirm brings to you know, this project and you know, our deployments in general is our expertise in virtualization. We know how to, how to transform service provider networks into virtualization and then leverage the virtualization fabric of the network for the maximum possible performance and agility for service providers to actually quickly launch new services, automate them, and actually be able to slice traffic across the network so that they can monetize newer streams of new services. Okay, so what are some of the underlying technologies that you're using? You know, if you think about uh, you know, what it takes to build out a network like you know, like Ajgur, you know explained, we're building the entire stack, right? So it's, it's an open network, it's a you know, Cots-based network. What basically what we're working together in in, in alliance with uh, Turkcell is, we are creating the network fabric. We are creating, a, you know, a network where we can actually elastically move payloads in different parts of the network. It's entirely virtualized, so the cost of actually you know moving a bit is radically different. It's entirely elastic, so we can actually run workloads wherever we need to run them for the optimal performance for the service that's required. And then we do ultra high performance. You know, I think the announcement that we made together was 35 million subscribers with a capacity of 1.4 terabits per second. So think about this, hyperscale, web scale technologies, microservices based architecture, and ultra low latency. These are the foundational technologies that help us pretty much you know, you know, realize all the types of services that Ashgur is talking about. Okay, so what's coming up? If you think of the foundational blocks that I just described, on top of this, you start doing hybrid type of deployments. So this gives us the ability to run workloads at the core, work, run workloads at the edge, be able to move workloads from one part to the other, automate more and more. So as you do more automation, you can actually start creating new new services and actually have new revenue streams for these automated services. You can launch services faster. You can start doing services that rely on ultra low latency, so augmented reality type of applications. You know, the next era of immersive content and immersive applications are enabled by this type of networks. Okay, great. Is there anything you'd like to add? 
let me add a couple of things as well. So as Amit just mentioned, so we have already approaching to the 5G. So we have already started transformation our network to do 5G. And 5G is going to be a great opportunity for the industries, for the new slices, etc. So that is why having ultra low latency, narrow band IoT and ultra broadband services. So this having such kind of flexibility in the network will provide us to provide <coughs> new services to the customer very quickly, very rapidly. And this is going to so this will going to create some difference in the market for Tuxel as well. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much to both of you. Thank, thank you. you.